Hey guys, it's Ethan Coy, the Car Kid here, and behind me is a new Ford Mustang GT convertible. We're gonna take you on a road trip, have some fun, and show you guys this cool car. Come along for the ride. I'm riding shotgun. Right now, I'm going to show you the Mustang GT key. It's very traditional. It's like the regular uh, Mustang key from all 2015 to 17. We always have this Mustang logo. As you can see on the front of the cover, and here we come to the back. We got the lock, unlock. Press this two times to start the car, trunk, and it's very traditional silver here and silver on the bottom and that's it it's very simple to use i love the horse logo on it which is also amazing and yeah so that's that's the whole key the specs on the new Ford Mustang GT convertible as we know it's got that traditional iconic 5 liter V8 it's got 435 horsepower 400 pounds-feet of torque as you know this has the leather interior they are very very comfortable seats they got the heated and cooled seats also this is a convertible version of the GT we have these um, LEDs here and we have uh, the new hood scoops on the front of the car. They have these nice chrome 18 inch wheels here and also a very nice 5.0 badge here. We have heated mirrors. We have a redesign, a kind of like a nice little interior with red lighting on the inside, cup holders, 
uh, door wells, and this also lights up at night, which you can't see right now, but it also, the Mustang, and mostly just, just turns all what color you choose, also the door handles also light up. We have power seats, seats which is very nice. Come around here, have a very nice, well, the GT logo. That's pretty much it for all the really detailed specs on the Ford Mustang GT. Right now we're going to do the likes and dislikes of the Ford Mustang GT convertible. Now we're going to start with the back. It has a very nice GT logo and a backup camera. I'm going to go to the trunk now. This trunk is uh, it's, it's a very wide and a big trunk. It goes all the way back there. It could fit a lot of our equipment and things. Uh, even for this car, that's a convertible, which also takes up some of that space of the trunk because the convertible needs to fold down. It still has a very nice wide trunk. All right, let's see what happens. Is it going? Yeah, press OK, though. You ready? Press OK yeah. and then floor it, OK? OK, you're actually going to floor it. Here we go. Nobody here. This little uh, spoiler thing right here, and then as you can see, it kind of takes a little bit of the trunk space. We're gonna do the convertible on the Mustang GT up and down. And then you latch it and then put it up, and then you can do the windows, and then this is how you put it down. Very simple process, one button and a latch, and that's it. It's not as sophisticated as the Corvette when the Corvette, uh, the thing comes out and the thing goes in and it's not as cool as that. But I mean, Corvette's a little more sophisticated and you still have to do a lot of uh, maneuvers to actually open the thing, but it's actually more cool on the Corvette than this is just easy latch that the old fashioned way. All right now I'm gonna get in and out of the back seat on the Ford Mustang GT convertible. It's actually not that hard, but getting out is harder. It's actually pretty comfortable back here. It's not too bad. You got a speaker, big speaker right here though. Um, your leg room is uh, very minimal. Uh, it's only a little bit, very small leg room, but right now seat's kind of back on the front. It's actually not that bad. Now I'm gonna climb out, which is harder for me. And you jump out with the roof up it's even harder but since you have unlimited headroom uh, that was a little bit easier right now we're gonna get in and out of the back seat with the roof up my trip on the shoot uh, the seat belt there but it's actually not that bad and as you come here uh, you have a uh, pretty good leg room. The seats are very comfortable. We got a really big speaker here. Uh, the headroom's okay for me being a five foot two person. Um, so it's actually not as bad as you would think back here for a sports car. Now I'm gonna get out of the car. I put my legs out first and then I kind of lift myself out of the car like that. That's how you get in and out of the back seat. All right guys, we're in LA. We're going through the tunnel near LAX, you know, that placey thingy, I don't know what that's called. And we're gonna just like kind of gun it if it looks okay up there. Huh? 
make some noise, exactly. They got a GoPro mounted back there. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, I had a lot of fun doing this 2017 Ford Mustang GT convertible. It was a really nice car with the V8 and the nice muffler sounds. I had a great time. For the sports car, these seats are very nice and quilted leather and very comfortable. Also with the heated and cooled seats, these are comfortable for the chassis of a sports car and this is a Ford Mustang Sports. These are the actually great seats they put in. Also like the interior lighting all over the car. Now that really just lights up the car in the interior and the very well old-fashioned uh, convertible opening the latch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment on which car we should do next. And until next time, I'm Ryan Shotgun. Oh,